morning. It is Sunday, March 6th, and Connor and I are gonna head out to Kananaskis, which we haven't done in, like, seems like forever, and see about doing Red Ridge as a little snowshoe slash hike. I guess we haven't been to Kananaskis for so long or on a hike or anything that I'm pretty much bringing everything I have. Um, snowshoes, ice axe, poles, gators, uh, micro spikes, all that stuff. Made it to the trailhead. There's a lot of people here, which is good. Hopefully they'll break trail for us. Hi. Got my snowshoes on. Can go up that hill. It's really hard. Oh, shit. Oh, this is hot to lots of hard work. I think we're almost out of the tree line. That'll be good. At least we get some views. Oh. It's been flat. But now I'm at the bottom of a hill. <laughs> I thought we were near the, the top of the ridge, but or the tree line anyway, but it doesn't appear to be so. Connor's up ahead somewhere, which is good, because I'm just holding him up. So pretty. <laughs> This is type 2 fun, where it's not fun now, but later on it might be fun to remember it. Oh, so gorgeous. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> oh, this look. <laughs> oh my God, so beautiful. <sighs> oh. 
How are you feeling? Good. Good? Connor's going ahead. I don't think I can go any further. This is killing me. I just hope I can see him at some point and let him know. A short while later, I tried texting Connor as I had signal on my phone. He called me and I told him that I was stopped and that he could continue on to the summit if it was safe. While I waited, I took some photos and stomped around trying to keep warm. About 90 minutes later, he was just steps away from the summit. Summit of Red Ridge. Only one up here. Wow, that took some work. There's Connor on the ridge. Wait. I couldn't go any further, so he went to the summit. And he made it, the bugger. And uh, his return is a lot faster than his ascent. Hey! Yeah, you made it back! Good job. Oh my god. Was it nuts? Huh? Was it nuts? <laughs> I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. Oh, I'm Good being job. filmed right now. What? Hi, YouTube. Hello. What's that? The, the plastic strap underneath, it broke. It broke? Yeah. Like oh, on your gator. Yeah. I don't know when, but... It's so sick. on my spot.
so beautiful. Big fish. There it is. It looks like a big fish. I think it's just about a hundred meters from uh, when you call it. It's the summit. It must have been somewhat flat because it didn't take you too long. Yeah. Not like vertical maybe. Like yeah, you said about 20 vertical. I think it's still a short vertical because it wasn't that long. No, we were, I went to about the same spot. No, we did it in snow. I know, it would be easier with Oh, yeah. Like this ridge is a pretty tame ridge. Set down, are you going to be able to get up? Oh, jeez. <laughs> this one's 
meters. What's that? 600. 600? Yeah. Total? Huh? What do you mean? Meters. It said Fairhawk day use. Zero point oh, six. to the car? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. We should be adding some We're back in the car and we have some stats for you. It was there's two sets of stats. One set of stats is Connor stats, which is just book value, which is 10 kilometers, I think, and 1,020 meters of elevation because uh, he went all the way to the summit. Uh, lazy Brad here just hung out. Uh, I went 6.95 kilometers, almost seven kilometers. Um, what was the elevation? I got up to 650 meters, so uh, Connor got 352, 370, almost 400 more meters than me. Um, he's he's super tired though, <laughs> and you know I'm like a not broke, feel, I'm not feeling anything. Else. I broke trail the entire day. <laughs> he broke trail the whole day, and then it took us six hours and three minutes. So we can take back three minutes because we had a trailside chat with a guy over there. And we a couple cars up. I'll we'll just say it's all in six. It was fun. Um, so it was awesome. Uh, beautiful, beautiful day. Oh yeah. Yeah. Really nice. And uh, time to start over. Thanks.